Yeah, good luck with that, Darth. <laughs> I talked about this at length earlier. It's Scalpers will always be a problem and there's nothing we can do about it. If eBay were for, to some reason, to tell them, like, it's illegal to sell PS5s on eBay for more than they normally cost, they'd just go somewhere else. And eBay would never do that because it makes them a ton of money. Every time someone buys a PS5 for $1,200. So that would never happen. What needs to happen is Sony needs to have enough PS5 so our scalpers don't exist. But they'd rather make money, so. If they didn't do the whole limited quantity stupid crap, then scalpers wouldn't exist. But like I said, the limited quantity thing might have been a necessary evil this time. But in general, like, every time Nintendo does it, it's always on purpose. It's really obnoxious. Does this heal me? I don't know what it is about 3,000 gil, but whenever there's a chest with gil in it, it's almost always 3,000 on the top. I guess it's better than the uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 where they were just like completely random numbers for some reason. I never understood why chests had like 2,863 gil. for the one go. Yeah, I like I said subs. I like I'm okay waiting. I wanted to get one so that I could stream it and, you know, experience it with you guys and help you guys choose if you want to buy one or not, but I'm definitely not in a rush. There are some good games like Demon Souls, but, like, especially with the monetary situation at the moment, I'm okay waiting 100%. I just hope it's not a Nintendo Switch type deal where they're, like, gone for several weeks. And the other thing that frustrates me is that I cannot get away from PS5 ads. They're just constantly bombarding me with, please purchase this console. And I'm like, I can't. I literally can't. I'm trying and I can't. Stop giving me ads. It's almost as bad as uh, my internet provider constantly spamming me with uh, mail saying, please purchase our product. And I already have it. <laughs> Royal Sword. Or AT&T constantly calling me and telling me to get their service, and I can't because they don't service my area. Whoa! I don't know, it's just a pet peeve of mine when I get advertised something that I legitimately cannot purchase. It's just so frustrating to me. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's just like the biggest pet peeve of mine when I have to listen to... You should buy this because of this, 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 and this. And I'm like, I can't. Stop it. Did you know that our internet goes up to this much speed and only costs this much? Yes, I do know that. Because I've had it. I've had it for years. <laughs> Stop it. Also, these are apparently pharaohs. I thought they'd be mummies, but nope. Full-fledged pharaohs. AT&T was the worst, though. The worst. I can't explain to you how frustrating it was to have people call me and go, Did you know that AT&T has this, this, and this? You should totally purchase it. And then I go, Yes! Please! Give it to me! And they're like, Ah, uh, we don't service your area. <laughs> Just 
Are you kidding me? You sit here and brag about your service, and then I say yes, and then you're like, no. It'd be like if your mom, like, made these amazing brownies and just talked all day about how good they were, and then at the end of the day you were like, can I have one? She was like, no. <laughs> no, you can't have this. huge and I don't I can't leave it to purchase items or anything and I can't save either it's kind of scary and the one time I want to be able to steal like potions I'm not getting potions I've heard nothing but amazing things in terms of PS5's build quality, but I guess we'll see when, when I get one and it catches on fire midstream, but as far as I've heard, it's uh, really good. I heard a story of someone putting their PlayStation in like a fridge while they were playing it. I don't remember the whole story, but it was like a speedrunner. And the game would like go slower depending on how hot the system was, so they like had some weird setup where they like put it in a fridge. <laughs> I'll have to get the whole story so I could tell you the whole story. That sounds hilarious though. I only I, I walked into the story like halfway through, so I don't know the full story, but that just sounded hilarious. I remember some wicked stories about the original Xbox and the whole like red ring of death and then like the towel trick and like all sorts of other tricks people would do to try to save their Xbox. I'm sure multiple people here have stories, or know people who have stories about trying to cool the Xbox. I never had any issues with any of my consoles overheating, but I did have issues with laptops overheating. Because uh, I used to render, you know, hours of videos a week back in the old YouTube days. And this was way before computers could really, like, do that easily. To render an hour of video, it would take me half a day. And I was doing it on a laptop, not a desktop like you should, so I had to come up with all these crazy MacGyver strats to keep my laptop cool. I have it. I, I got like one of those one of those like stands that like kicks your laptop up a bit so that its own fans kinda work better. I'd have like one of those, and then I'd have a laptop fan plugged in to the wall instead of the laptop, into the wall, and then I would like position it behind the laptop. So it was getting like its own fans, and then like more laptop fans. <laughs> I, would, I would MacGyver the crap out of it just to get it to render for a day without exploding. Oh yeah, I had a friend that did the rice trick with an Xbox. I had, a, I had someone that did a rice trick with uh, their phone also. They dropped their phone in the pool and put it in rice. Apparently that works pretty well. You gotta be careful with that stuff though, because sometimes it's fake. Like the whole... Uh, put your iPhone in the microwave debacle. <laughs> you remember that? 
it was that news story about putting your phone in the microwave and everyone was like, I'll do it. Seems legit. Oh my. That's scarier than the real Medusa. There was the, there was the put your, uh, phone in the microwave, and then there was the, uh, when the first, when the iPhone, the first iPhone that came out that didn't have a, uh, headphone jack. There was some rumor that there actually was a headphone jack, there just wasn't a hole for it, and if you drilled a hole in your iPhone, you could put the the headphones in. <laughs> and that got a bunch of people. How could you possibly believe that was true? Like, how could you possibly think they would put the headphone jack in there, but just not drill the hole for some reason? Like, why wouldn't they drill the hole? Why wouldn't Apple drill the hole if it was already in there? If the technology was there? Does it make any sense? <laughs> I mean, in their defense, the, the fake... Oh, what is that? It's a... Whirlwind with an eyeball. Oh, of course, a lemur. I, how could I have been so silly? That's obviously a lemur. Um, the the ads that came out that told people this stuff looked pretty real. Like they made it look like it was straight from Apple. So I feel like it was easy-ish to get uh, duped. But at the same time, some of them you gotta look at and just be like, okay, no. Like the drilling the hole in the phone, like how could you think that's possibly real? What's up, Battle? Yeah, this game, uh... Definitely, this remaster definitely ramped up things a bit. Um, we're finding that out as we go through. And unfortunately, ramping up stuff in RPGs isn't always a recipe for more fun. It depends on how fun the grinding is, because in RPGs, harder stuff doesn't necessarily mean like you need to be more skilled. Sometimes it just means you have to sit and grind longer. And that's kind of the inherent weakness with RPGs. With other games, with ashing games and stuff, you need to improve your skills, which in the end feels more rewarding when you beat something that's difficult. But in RPGs, it doesn't always feel rewarding to beat something if all you did was grind to beat it. That's kind of one of the inherent flaws with RPGs. Oh my god, it's Boney! Ah, the power of darkness is a thing of beauty, a black tapestry of chaos. A tapestry on which I shall paint an all-encompassing nocturne. With this fortress, Argus's soldiers, and the power of darkness, I will rule the world! Time to die! I think we're dead. Because, like... Oh my god, he looks so epic. Um, I don't have anything, like, holy to deal with him. And we have no MP because we didn't get, like, because I had to, I switched my jobs. The only thing I could think of doing is maybe throwing a potion on him and seeing if it, uh, deals damage. See if he's undead or whatever. But if that's not the case, we're kind of screwed. We're just going to have to hope that Refia can deal, deal all the damage. Ooh, I stole a high potion. Alright, let's hope we don't heal him after dealing damage to him. Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Well. <laughs> He's... He is not undead, and also nearly one-shot my entire team. So, after a giant dungeon that I could not save in because I got thrown into it. And I can't even study him? Oh, there we go. Good lord, what is this damage? They said that I'm supposed to study him to get his weak points. Okay, so his weakness is now fire. Great. I will use this information to die a horrible death. Okay, if you just shift every turn, how am I supposed to take advantage of your weakness? Like... What? Okay, here's the plan. We throw Zeus's wrath. Okay, here's the plan. We die. <laughs> we throw bomb arm and hope he's still weak against fire for some reason. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even close to fair. So, yeah, man, okay, wait, I need to test something, squeaky. Training montage, but not really. Blink, 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 blink. Hey, how's it going, Arco? Good to see you, man. How are we doing today? Oh, <laughs> I had something I wanted to show you, Arco thought you would appreciate it. We have kind of like a joke on the stream where especially Arco and some other people like to make the bit number a specific number to look cool. And this morning I just so happened to look at my odometer and this was this was the number on my odometer today. And I had to show you. That was the number on my odometer. Four eight four eight four. You only get that once, boys. And I caught it. So that was epic. Also my tires need air. <laughs> nice. I was surprised I caught it on that exact number. Okay, so Yeah, if I, if I keep the car long enough, maybe we'll make 84848, but that's it. Nope. teleport out of the dungeon meaning 
I need to do the grind out of the dungeon before entering the dungeon. I mean, I guess not exactly. I could do the grind it. No, I can't, because I can't save. I could heal, but I can't save. So, yeah, I kind of have to do the grind outside. My issue is that I don't know where to grind. Because the world map gives me, like, no XP. So I'd have to probably go back to the lava cave, maybe. Or I could go to Geishol or wherever. And see if maybe that, uh, that place has, like, an optional dungeon or something, maybe. Who knows? Because I got that magic key. Wow. Sight did nothing for me. Yes, Zuloth likes to uh, diss me all the time for fun, but then openly, openly uh, admit that he's just as bad. <laughs> Think we're the bit super. Think we're the bits doctor. What are my plans for mom? Um, so I'm getting Melody of Memories in the mail today. But, uh, I have not heard if we're able to stream it yet. So I had no plans to stream it. Because I have not heard one way or the other as to whether or not we're allowed to stream it. Um, I'll probably play it over the weekend to see how it is. And then if I hear anything over the weekend about being able to stream it, then maybe I'll stream it next week a bit. I don't plan on doing like a ton of it on stream though, because it doesn't seem like a great stream game anyways, but hopefully we can play a little bit of it. Well, it's not like, I mean, obviously part of the problem is Twitch's DMCA thing going on right now, but the music in Kingdom Hearts has always been a problem, like way before Twitch DMCA issues, like uh, Hitaru songs have always been claimed on YouTube. So, like, even before all this, it still would have been a bad idea. So I wouldn't just blame Twitch for it, you know. Simple and Clean, Sanctuary, the two songs in Kingdom Hearts 3, Face Your Fears, and, uh... the other one. Don't something. Don't something. Can't think of the name. Uh, all those have always been problems. So. Yeah, it's just not a great idea to uh, stream it at the moment. But yeah, over the weekend I'll see if, like, anyone has any issues and we can play it a bit. I wasn't planning on streaming it anyways, though, because it's just not, you know, we have a lot of other stuff going on and it's not a super, like, I don't, I don't think a ton of people are into it, but I'm excited about it, so. And it does fit into hearts a -thon, so if we can stream it, I probably will at least a bit. And if people really like it, then I'll stream more of it. Like, I'm pretty much just playing it by ear at the moment. You know what I mean? No plans, but we'll see how it goes. But I'm definitely not jumping right in, because that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, I want to talk to this guy again, because he told me where the place was and I forget. I think he said, like, northeast. Oh, now he's not going to tell me shit. I thought he said far to the east.
Yeah, for sure. I mean, I might do kind of what I did with FFR and just upload highlights and practice on stream and stuff. It depends. I, I, like, I, I don't even know how much I'm going to like the game yet. I have a feeling I'm going to like it a lot, but we shall see. Yeah, I'd agree with Arco. From what I've heard, if you like rhythm games, it's good. If you don't like rhythm games but really like Kingdom Hearts, it's worth the play. If you don't like rhythm games or Kingdom Hearts, it would probably be the worst purchase of all time. Because <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> and if you love both of those things, then home run. But yeah, I am a big fan of Rhythm Games and Kingdom Hearts, so it should be right up my alley. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. Should be in the mail now. Might even be on my doorstep right now. Oh my goodness! Is that Leviathan? Y'all want to hear something funny? Cringe them hearts. Y'all want to hear something funny? Cringe chat. <laughs> Y'all want to know what's funnier than 25? It's the Loch Ness Monster. Raphia just punched the Loch Ness Monster in the face. I love the idea of uh, monks in video games. Just the fact that everyone else is using guns and swords and magic and Raphia is just going around punching everything in the face. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Dragon, punch in the face. Sea Serpent, punch in the face. Ghost, punch in the face. Bird, punch in the face. Whatever it is, punch it. Right in the face. Look at this. Look at this! Get out of, get out of here. Like, our party is just driving along in a boat. And then some sea serpent's like, I'm going to destroy your boat and eat all your children. And then Refi is just like, bam! And it just goes back in the water. <laughs> oh, man. The next Final Fantasy movie better have a scene where that happens. Hey, look, we're back at the... Start of the game. There's Canaan. Should be Canaan, but I prefer Canon. Think there's any reason to go back to the castle? Can can. <laughs> the best best town name Err. hey what should we call this town Err. perfect we'll name it Err. okay so it's not any of these old towns hold on let me use sight again
Maybe it's that town on the bottom right hand corner, like the, on the edge. Over here. Say this game looks like Mario Party. Have you played video games? Or is this your first time? <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be a funny meme. Like, uh, like one of those old memes, like Bad Luck Brian and stuff, but instead it's like, first to play video games, Chad. And so, like, he looks at every game and just thinks it's like a Mario game. <laughs> he looks at Twist and Metal and he's like, is this Mario Kart? plays Pokemon and uses a rare candy and he's like, is this Candy Crush? <laughs> is that, you fight the dragon. Is that Bowser? Hey, we found it. Oh my god, there's sheep. There's sheep in a field. Is this Spyro? Song. Epic. Ooh, break. Shade. I can't cast those, though. Wait a second. Libra displays weak points. Why don't I just use that and go back to Red Mage? Did I just find the the secret to life? Did I just solve all of our problems? Oh my god, little chocobo farm. Are you the chocobo sage? Chocobos love our geishal greens. I'll tell you a secret. There's a special chocobo that lives in the chocobo woods. Try putting a sprig of geishal greens by the tree in the middle of the woods. If you're lucky, you may get to meet the boss of all chocobos. Oh my god. How do I get... Yes. 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 Yes! Is this the first use of Geishel? Is this where it came from? That's actually really cool. Hey, stay out. Stay out. Visitors, it's been years since we've had people visit us. Make yourselves at home. What's the point of the magic key, though? It's actually Gashali. Wait, they have keys for sale? Wait, they're only a hundred? <laughs> I am so lost with this game right now. We beat we beat the the Lord of the Fire Demons, and then the guy's like, here's this magic key. It can open anything in the whole world. And then we go to this town, and they're like, we got magic keys for zero dollars. Take them all. Maybe they're fake magic keys. That house doesn't have a door. What? What happened? What? What happened there? Did they forget to put in a door?
Hey, thanks, Scoop. Rip the guy that lives there. They took out his door. <laughs> Fat Jokobo can store items in its belly. Isn't that hilarious and slightly disturbing? What's hilarious and... Oh, never mind. This character was standing in front of that stool and I thought that was her hair. Like, I thought her hair extended that far out. I thought she was like Marge. Oh. We found the dancer. Can't I talk to you? The stools are in the way. I can't talk to this guy. What? Guys, change your your setup here. What? I'm lost. Do you sell Phoenix Downs? That's all they sell here is keys and greens. Goldfish moment. What? What did I forget? I didn't forget anything. I think you guys forgot that you pronounce Gashali. That's the only way to pronounce it. I take care of the sheep here. No, don't go that way. You do a pretty good job. Why was that a conversation? No, I will not tell you how to pronounce Ronald Regeneration. You gotta figure that out yourself. It's coming to age moment when you learn how to pronounce Regional Nation. Okay, so, serious question for myself, not for you. Uh, can I not just do this and then do this and then I don't ever need to use Scholar ever again? <laughs> like, studying with the Scholar removes positive effects that the, the enemy has. So that's one benefit. But other than that, like, this should just be... Like, the, I should just be a better Scholar now. And not have to level up Scholar for no reason now. Can you guys not argue about how to pronounce GIF by just putting the word in chat as if people know what you're talking about? Because that's not how the internet works. And I feel like... You're... Br <laughs> I feel like you're missing the whole point here, guys.
Okay, so... That's not how any of this works! What? Okay, so I should be able to just cast Libra. I mean, yeah, I suppose the downside is that I only have two casts. So, if I don't get more casts, then I might be in trouble. But... See, it could work if I had, like, ethers, but I don't think anyone sells ethers. All I've get, gotten is elixirs. I don't want to waste those. I mean, I gotta sit here and train for a while before I can fight that boss anyways. So, I mean... <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta train for a while. So I'm guessing I'll get more casts of it as I train. Because we weren't even close to being strong enough. He one-shot our entire party. Like, for nothing. So... Hey, Refia, we're against some fish. What's your solution to this debacle? I know. Punch him in the face. Just like I solve all my problems. <laughs> Rafia is really, really... Maybe not simple-minded, but just understands how the world works, you know? She gets up in the morning, she's like, Oh man, I'm out of toothpaste. Punch it! Oh man, my coffee machine isn't working. Punch it! Oh man, I gotta go do my taxes. Punch it! <laughs> it's the one man. It's kind of like flex tape, you know? It's just like a one. one single fix for everything. No matter what it is. Seen a bit of tar. I wish I could do my taxes by punching them. It seems like it'd be so much better. Is this a Chocobo Forest? That's a negative. It's about time to quit Final Fantasy for the day and move on to what we're doing next, which I haven't decided yet. But before we go, I gotta see this chocobo thing. So... We gotta find a forest. There's one in the bottom left-hand corner, but that's really far away. I was trying to find one that's closer. Doing Mario Party 2 next. We're already doing Mario Party. What are you talking about? This is Mario Party 2... Echo the Dolphin mix-up version. How's it going, Solid? Welcome back. In Switzerland, it is allowed to lie on your taxes, but only until they find out at least once. Once you use your immunity once, they can punish you the next time. What?
They made this so people who cheat have an incentive to tell the state they cheated and they get away with it. What? That doesn't make any sense. If you're allowed to cheat until you're caught, why would they tell people they cheated? That's the opposite of what you'd want to do. That just incentivizes everyone to cheat and then try not to get caught. sense maybe if when you cheated and got away with it and then told everyone you got like a reward kind of like when some companies say like we'll reward you if you hack us but not if it's just like you get free cheats forever until you're caught and they're just gonna Cheat forever until you're caught. Here's your tax cheat cookie. <laughs> it's a little cookie with like a dollar sign. It says you did it. It's a cake that says congrats on your tax fraud on it. I say what we do instead is we pass a law where everyone is allowed to cheat on their taxes one year, but we don't tell them what year it is. And then smart people will just never cheat on their taxes. And stupid people will be like, this is the year, and get caught, and then get put in jail like they should. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't make a great politician. Welcome to the internet. Where someone said, that'd be awesome if we all got one free murder. <laughs> That's the internet I know. That's the internet I love. If everyone got one free murder, no one would ever have to worry about murder. It makes perfect sense. Think about the 100 bits, super. See you, Vagrant. Do you have your murder pass? Listen, guys. 
I'm about the 5,000 IQ, all of you, okay? Because you're all, you're not understanding the mechanics of this, okay? If all of us, every single person on the planet, murdered one person, and then murder was outlawed after that, it'd be perfect. Then everyone would get it out of their system, and then no one would ever murder again. Let's forget the fact that if every single person on the planet murdered one person, we'd be extinct. But no, see, it's perfect, because then after that, no one would murder again. <laughs> perfect logic. <laughs> Let's see, if there's three billion people and every person kills one person, that's three billion, but then add that, subtract it, divide by the coefficient. I feel like there'd be enough people to at least live in Arizona. But death, if one person murders another person, then that other person can't murder anyone else because they got murdered. So your logic doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How's it going, Maggie? I'm talking about people that take my obvious joke and try to, like, analy uh, analyze it. Well, now wait just a second. I, I think, I believe, if one person murdered each one person, but then the person that they murdered hadn't done their murder yet, then technically with, like, cross physics mathematics, we could have, like, a couple people go to Starbucks every day and order a coffee without giving a tip. I appreciate you fixing my joke, it needed fixed. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God there's people on this planet that'll fix my jokes when I screw them up. Because the point of the joke wasn't to be funny, the point of the joke was to be accurate. So if I ever tell you a joke that's inaccurate, please just ruin the joke and make sure you overanalyze it because it's way more important to be right than it is to be funny when doing a joke. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Everyone. Even Mega Man knows that. Instant death. Sorry. He was on uh, Dr. Wily 2 stage. He didn't last very long. How's it going, random? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Murder is only wrong if you kill someone underage. Sonic, dude. Freaking love Sonic. 
<laughs> oh, man. Okay, tree. It smells like jo Wait a second. It smells like Chocobo. <laughs> Alright. Listen. Let me... Let me... Combine... What we're talking about right now. Let's bring it back to the game, because... The important part is the game, right? I'm imagining... A crime drama. Picture this, okay? Tell me this isn't... Tell me this ain't gonna sell, okay? I'm picturing a crime drama, all right? Like, you know, CSI Miami, okay? Picture it in your head. All of the cops are chocobos. Right? You got it? So far, you following me? Okay. So, in the first episode, They're investigating a murder at the Gold Saucer, and the head Chocobo detective, detec Detective Wark, walks by his second-in-command, Detective Que, and they look at the dead body. And, they're, and, they, and they look at each other and they look at the dead body and Detective Wark looks to Detective Que and he says do you smell what I smell? and Detective Que looks at him and he goes I do it smells like Chocobo and then fade to black and then it's like Da 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 ba bum bum ba da da, and you see like the chocobos like doing detective stuff. Da da bum ba da 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 da, bam! CSI chocobo, and then it comes back, and they're like, "What does this mean?" And he goes, "It was an inside job. One of the chocobos on the force did this." And then the whole episode is like them trying to figure out who on the in what chocobo on the inside did the murder. And in the end, uh, and then they start finding like food on the detect on this on the scene, and they're like, "Who could have done this?" And then it's revealed at the end that it was Fat Chocobo. <laughs> I'm telling. Listen, I don't always have perfect ideas, but this is gold. This is this is as gold as my Final Fantasy VII Chocobo. This is gold. Absolute gold. Someone call Amazon Prime. This could be the greatest theme in all of Final Fantasy. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, that truck was freaking out. So wait, he just stores items? Why would I want him to store items? Like, what's the purpose? In case I run out of room? <laughs> this, song. <laughs> this song is so good.
I, I mean, I might as well just sell this stuff. I don't want it anyways, but... Like... There you go, dude. That's all he does, huh? <laughs> dude, that theme was truly incredible. I am a new... I am a reborn man after hearing that. That was truly incredible. What a way what a way to end Final Fantasy 3 today. I can't think of a better better way. Alright, listen. We got some hot stuff coming up, but before we do that, we gotta say goodbye to YouTube. Uh, and goodbye to this installment of Final Fanathon. I wanna thank everyone for being here today. It was a blast. It was so much fun. Uh, thanks those of you on YouTube watching. Um, we'll be back next week for more Final Fantasy 3. I don't know if I ever, like, explained how the schedule works. Normally I explain it at the beginning of every, uh, series, but I think I forgot for this series. So just anyone that's, like, curious, we stream Final Fantasy 3 every Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern to about 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then the episodes come out the next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. So every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, you'll get an episode, um, if you're curious. And when we do double days, uh, there'll be two episodes every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if you're wondering like how the schedule works, when to expect a new episode, it's always Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's always 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, so that's when you see the episodes. And if you want to see it live, it's Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern to about 12.30 and uh, it's on our Twitch page, twitch.tv slash deathunitesus, um, which is in the description down below if you're interested. So that's that. Uh, we'll be back next week. We'll be doing more uh, of this, and, and I'm still enjoying it. And we, I guess we're going to be grinding a lot next week because that boss completely obliterated us. So that will be fun. But we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching these, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out.